This video is about cholodocholysiasis, which is a medical term for a biliary stone with a common bile duct. The stone might either have formed within the duct and is considered a primary duct stone, or a gallstone has passed into the common bile duct, which is then considered a secondary duct stone. The causes of gallstones or duct stones formation are hyperalimentation with obesity, hemolytic anemias, congenital anomalies of the bile duct, or a comangitis, just to name a few. Females are affected more common than males. The typical age group is around the fourth decade, although it can be seen in all age groups. The symptoms are about the same as the symptomatic stones in the gallbladder, namely right upper quadrant pain, pruritus and jaundice due to cholestasis. If the stone is situated at the lower end in the common bile duct, it might also obstruct the pancreatic duct, which with which it has a common junction into the duodenum and thus leading to pancreatitis. The gold standard for detecting stones in the common bile duct is the ERCP, which stands for Endoscopic Retrograde Cholangiopancreatography, where stones are seen as radiolucent filling defects. Another method that manages without X-rays and contrast media is the MRCP, which stands for Magnetic Resonance Cholangiopancreatography. The MRCP uses either a so-called rare or haste technique which both have a strong T2 characters and are seen here. With this method, you can see a low signal filling defect within the very bright signal of the bile. Here you see the bright signal of the bile and this dot-like punctuate low filling defect in the distal common bile duct canal, better seen on this image than here. With MRI, you have the advantage of being able to evaluate the periductal tissues and organs as well, and thus ruling out an extrinsic obstruction of the bile duct, which can lead to the same symptoms. Here, for example, you have a sequence which shows you the whole abdominal organs, like the liver and the colon, the intestine, here as part of the stomach scene, as well as the heart. And you can evaluate the whole um, adjacent tissues to the bile duct, which is again seen here, and this dot-like, very small filling defect in the distal bile duct. Corresponding, you have an ERCP here, which shows again the filling defect in the distal bile duct. This ERCP is the corresponding exam to the MRI exam here. While small stones up to 3 mm usually pass spontaneously, larger stones might require endoscopic sphincterotomy or lysotripsy. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it would be great if you shared, liked or commented it. You are welcome to subscribe my channel for free. Just click here. If you want to watch another of my videos, click here. If you want to go directly to my channel, click here.